Hi guys, Wick here and in this video, we're going to focus on how to make explainer animation videos step by step. Now I promise this requires no technical skills. This is something that is completely newbie friendly. If you can copy and paste, you can do this. And as an example, we're going to use the exact same video that you see on your screen right now. I created this video with the same steps. So we're going to actually use the exact same model that I used to create this animation video. So without any more delays, let's get started. Okay guys, so welcome back. And in this part of this video, as promised, I'm going to give you a very easy solution of making explainer animation video. And what you see on your screen is the cheapest solution available in the market to create animation slides. And as you see, I am using this tool for my own projects. I create my sales videos, my explainer animation videos using this tool only. And it is awesome. It is simply awesome. But what is great in this is it's super simple to work on. Now, for example, this is the animation slide. I'm just going to give you some basics of this software and this software is called Video Maker FX. Okay? So in this, in this part of the video where we are actually talking about how to create animation, explainer animation slides. Uh, so we're going to work with Video Maker FX only. Okay? You don't need anything. It is a dirt cheap product guys. So now how do we use it and how do we actually, you know, work on this particular project? is you must know the software so initially when you when you open the software you won't see anything I'm, i've just opened a project for just for an example purpose but when you open your software you won't find anything you will just have this plus icon on the top which will say to create a new project just click on this plus icon name the project and then you know this button will be activated where you can add slides okay so when i click on this you know, then we are presented with a simple dialog box where we have some categories. And when we click on these categories, we get some subcategories. And these are the animation slides. That's it that we have in those categories. And you can view them, preview them right here. And, you know, similarly, just go to other categories. And these are subcategories. And you can check out which one is suiting your video animations. Okay. So once we are okay with one of these slides or if you want all of these slides then we simply come to the right hand side and we simply say add slide okay i'm not going to do that i already have slides added here so that way you can add the slides from that big library that comes with video maker fx and you can just add as many slides as you want that suits your project okay now coming to editing part of the slide so for example i've just added this slide when we add a slide, the preview comes right on top and you can just play this preview again and you can pause this preview from here. And then, you know, it's simple, self-explanatory. And on the right hand side, we have the edit option. Now the edit option is only, you know, relating to the text that you can add here or the other elements that it supports. So for this uh, slide, it is only text that uh, you know you can change work with the text here you can add some text here you can add some text here and the live preview will come over there so maybe for example well, let me just show you one example so if i just add a text so it's gonna show the text right here when it when the text element comes okay so that is how we actually add text in the element so similarly if i go to this slide i click on this slide this slide the preview comes here and you need not add text on each and every slide you know you can just leave it as is because it's an explainer video you know you will have the voice over in the background you will have the background music or stuff like that but you know just in case you know if you want to add some text so we get some options in the edit part here so like this is the text that has been added in this particular video slide so this text comes right here and you can actually you know position this text by these arrow keys here so if you want to move this text up and down so you can just you know you, you can just pause the video and uh, you know you can see that the that the text goes down you want to move it up you know you can you can do 
whatever you want. So you can position the text by, by using these arrow icons and you can also do a little bit of more, you know, advanced kind of uh, text editing with uh, adding the color, changing the color from this option or, you know, just making it, you know, changing the font style or stuff like that. Sometimes, you know, in some slides, you can also you also get some more options in this edit stage. You can just, you know, add images and you can add shapes to the slide and you can add animations also okay, in the background. So like over here, we have the animation number one. You can, you can change this animation to anything and you can choose it from the file or whatever. So this is basically the secret formula of creating, you know, animation, explainer animation slides using Video Maker FX. Now, I have been using this for last over five years now, and I have created tons and tons of videos using Video Maker FX. There is a drawback when it comes to creating videos with Video Maker FX, and that's the reason I've created part two of the suite. Now, when I create a video project, I need animations, and then I need to sync my animations with my voiceover, okay, and with my background music. And, you know, I need to, you know, sync all of them together and create the final video. Now, with Video Maker FX, the best part is I'm getting all the animations. Okay, so I have no problems and I only use Video Maker FX for my animations, as you see. There are tons and tons of them. You know, I can scroll and you, know, you can see all of them. So like the beautiful, the beautiful. So I, I break my video project into two parts. So the first part is using Video Maker FX and creating animation slides. Okay. Now, once the project is done, once the video is created, I mean, all the animation slides as per my video script is completed, you know, and I'm also going to create another video in which, you know, I'm going to give you even before you start creating a video, what exactly you, you need to do for, for creating and explain a video. Okay, so please watch that video also, okay? But for now, you know, I, so what I do is I have my script with me, with my, and using that script, I create my animation slides using Video Maker FX. And then, you know, uh, once I have my animation slides ready, then I simply go on top and I exp export the video. Okay, I simply export the video the way where I uh, you can just you know browse the file where you want to save the video and you know basic stuff you can just uh, select the quality of the video that you want and you can hit export so that is uh, what I do with the animation part okay so I'm not gonna do that because I've already done this but what I want to say is this is not my final video this is only explainer animation part of the video okay now in the next part of the video we're gonna actually use this animated explainer video and we're gonna sync it with the voiceover the background music and you know some more cool stuff in order to make it even more interactive and more intuitive the one that we just saw okay so right now I just want that you Grab Video Maker FX from the link that is there under this video in the description box and you start creating your animation slides. Okay, it's very, very simple. I just showed you exactly what needs to be done. Don't think anything else. If you are confused or you're stuck up somewhere, just watch this video and see how I have done it. So, you know, it's very, very simple and just don't think too much. Just, just finish your video as fast as you can and then, you know, just watch the next video and then take the next step okay, to finish the video project. And don't forget to like this video. And of course, do hit the subscribe button so that, you know, you get the notifications for all my upcoming future videos. Okay, so I want to see you in the subscriber list and I also want to see you in the next video. See you there.